Assalamu alaikum, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see how we can use simple dialog widget in Flutter. Okay, uh, before that, if you haven't watched this video, you can watch it by clicking this i button above and uh, you can see this video. And please be sure to subscribe to this channel and for more content, please hit that bell icon. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, I have uh, created a stateless widget of dialog button and in the material app I am returning this my app widget and I have created this stateful widget and in the body I have applied just center. So we will create a function first and then we will implement a simple dialog button and in the center in the child property of center I'll be creating an elevated button and on the on press event of that we'll use the simple dialog function okay so let's start so here I'm creating a function okay so here is a question arises that why would we use simple dialog simple dialog box when we already have an alert dialog box okay so the so there is a slight difference between them alert dialog uh, let's say with an example if you want to inform the user about a cer certain situation you might go for alert dialog box and rest of the situations you can use a simple dialog simple dialog widget and another thing is alert dialog widget has more properties than a simple dialog box so you can use both of them there's there is nothing that you could you could use a simple dialog or alert dialog forcefully you can use whatever you want okay so let's start with the function simple dialog box and I'll be returning show dialog function because we cannot use it directly a show dialog which takes a content so we have to pass the build context as a parameter in this function and in the context I'll pass this context and show dialog receives a builder property so in the builder we have to pass another context and then we will return a simple simple dialog okay so this dialog also has an optional property of title so let's implement it and in the title I'll be passing a text simple dialog okay so in the alert dialog box we had a property of content that we could use for for uh, buttons or so on and we had another property of actions that we implemented buttons or so on widgets you could use so we have a simple dialog options that can be used in the children widgets of this property so in the children I can use simple dialog option which takes a property of child so I can use let's say and in the on pressed I'm not creating any kind of event and return no and in this title let's ask a question to our users okay so we going to pass this function 
in the center let's create an elevated button and in the child and pass this function in the on pressed so it's time to test this application okay so after running this code successfully we got this output okay so when I click this button we have received this dialog do you like programming which was in the title and in the children I have two buttons of uh, yet created dialog simple dialog option yes and no so in the on press let's pop out this from this navigator okay so navigator dot pop pop from this context okay let's hot reload and test it so yes it's working fine you can style this dialog if you want let's say it comes with property of elevation I can apply let's say 6 it comes with shape you could apply a rounded rectangle border or stadium border or whatever you like so I'll, I'll taking a rounded rectangle border with border radius border radius dot all radius dot circular let's say 20 you could select a background color for it so let's say I'll be applying background color of this uh, primary color colors dot blue with shade of 700 so let's use that now hot reload it's looking attractive right so I hope you like this video please share this video with your friends and please be sure to subscribe to this channel and for more upcoming content please hit that bell icon so thank you so much guys for watching this video Please take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.